Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, Go founder Pat Trading Partners along with Bob Iacchino. So yesterday, Nikola stopping at the 62.5 retracement level, the 48.03, closing just above it. Then we were watching to see what happens if it got below the 50, which it clearly did, plummeting through our 42.96, and now we're watching this low, which we closed just below it. So low was 40.42, so now we've had a close into this gap. Very important, so now I'm gonna start watching for the gap fill. The full gap fill is down to 35.97. These levels have all been hit. We don't really have a pausing bar yet. I'm just getting an idea of where the next areas are. So, let me drop to the four hour real quick. This is getting very oversold and overextended on the four hour time frame. On a rally, we still have a gap here. So right in the middle of that, we have that 62.5% retracement level. Now, when somebody closes, something closes below the 62.5% retracement level, it generally keeps heading lower. You see on these next levels, at least what we can project so far, coming in with a 200 period, simple moving average on the four hour time frame down to 26.71. On any rally, uh, gonna be watching this high, the high of this bar, uh, 47.32 is first level of major resistance. If we get above there, start watching for the gap fill to 48.87. And then the major, major resistance level, I'd start watching 50. Round number of people are gonna target. This closing was just above there and we have the rotation zone declining. So that's the major area on any rally so far and then the, we got the first cross of rotation zone on the daily so major major resistance now coming in at 57. so in any rally i wouldn't be expecting unless major news came out above 57 for the time being let's just look if it does get below next major gain retracement levels about 29.43 and the Retracing this whole little up move that started it would take us down to 2025. So it couldn't sustain, broke down below the major support levels, and just started cascading, selling again. Oversold doesn't mean it can't get oversold, but would not be surprised to see a slight bounce. But that's not a buying opportunity. There is no major buying pattern at this point. And remember, the rotation zone is against the move, so any rally that would be a target. So if you were trying to do an aggressive buy, do not ignore these four hour rotation zone targets and do not ignore this gap. So we have for you on Nikola and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.